Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. We are in video number two of a three-part series. If you missed part number one, then you missed Life is Sweet. Today we're doing Wishing You a Sweet Day with the Sweetest Cherries Bundle from Stampin' Up. If you haven't seen this one yet, it's a must-have and a keeper. It's a punch bundle. You can get the cherry filter and the sweet cherries together as a bundle and save 10%. If you like to do um, mass produce, if you've got a themed event that you wanna do, if you do craft fairs, this bundle is a must. And we are playing fun with parts and pieces in the craft socials. So uh, the challenge is fun with parts and pieces and you needed nine scraps, any size smaller than four and a quarter by three, really use up your scraps, three solid color die cuts for the outside of your card, three solid color die cuts for the inside of your card, three card bases, and no more than two eight and a half by five and a half white cardstock for your images. So I challenged everybody in the craft social to gather these pieces and make three cards. For parts and pieces, you can add embellishments, ribbon, um, bling, but you cannot add any more paper pieces. So we've got our kit here for this card and there's our die cuts our scraps for this piece are the in color designer series paper and they are four and a quarter by one and three quarters four and a quarter by one and a half and four by one and a half we're going to start by folding up our basic black cardstock it's eight and a half by five and a half and it's already scored at four and a quarter i'm going to work that score with the bone folder and then let's adhere our scraps. I'm going to do the two sweet sorbet pieces first and just kind of at a fun angle, a little high, a little low, and then our parakeet party piece. I love mixing and matching the patterns and the colors. This is really a great paper pack. And while the glue is wet, we can take a little bit of time to adjust. All right, I like that. Now, time to do some stamping. I went ahead and I cut my eight and a half by five and a half basic white into half, one and a half inch and one inch strips. And I've got Memento Tuxedo Black, Sweet Sorbet, Garden Green, and Parakeet Party. And we need two cherries for the outside and one for the inside. I'm gonna keep on with this little strip for my stems. Let's see, I think we can get two more out of there. And we're paying attention to the orientation of the punch when we stamp. We wanna make sure that it's easy for us to get that strip in there and punch without too much what I call punching acrobatics or punching gymnastics. So there's two, we need a third one. Put that guy right there. And then let's set those aside, give them a second to dry. Got some strips here, we're gonna do some cherries. Got sweet sorbet, we're gonna do two full cherries. And the little partial cherry, that's for the back, so we can get a dimensional kind of a look. We need three leaves. Got parakeet party. We're gonna pay attention to how the orientation of the punch so we can get them in there easy. I'm really working them into the little areas of the scrap here. And I've got garden green for the details. Again, set this aside to dry. We're gonna do the word sweet next. I've got Memento Tuxedo Black and Basic White. We're gonna ink that stamp up well and then let it sit so that the ink will transfer. We want a nice solid greeting here, nice deep black color. Then our square, we've got Wishing You A. We're going to ink it in tuxedo black, stamp it across the top of the square, and then 
we've got the word day. We're going to stamp that on the bottom right just a little bit high. And let's clear away the ink pads. All right, we are going to punch our leaves and our cherries using our cherry builder punch. All right, I've got my last little stem here and then we can assemble our cherries. I like to put a little dab of liquid glue on the stem right at the base. So just squeeze the bottle. When you've got a dot of liquid glue on the end of the bottle, touch the stem. And then you can even take one of the other stems and touch them together. That way you don't have any glue seepage. You don't glue it to the table, make a mess. One of my best glue tips, I think, is less is more, and you can use the two pieces that you might be gluing down to help each other not get too much adhesive. And then for this last one, I'm not even squeezing the bottle. I'm just wiping the glue that's kind of residually there, and we'll adhere that one. We need a mini glue dot. Got one right here. I mean, a mini Stampin' Dimensional. And we're gonna put it on that little glue tab adhere the two cherries together to make that kind of iconic two. And now bring my card back in here and my paper snips. We're going to cut out the word sweet. We're going to fussy cut it. If you missed video number one, you're going to want to check that out for some fussy cutting tips. It's really a technique and you can get better at fussy cutting. If you don't like to fussy cut, feel free to stamp sweet directly on to your square. There's always a way around if you don't want to do it. Although if you practice, support your scissors well, open and close with your dominant hand steer with your non-dominant hand, you can get good results and increasingly better results as you practice. All right, let me get this guy cut out and some dimensionals on back. All right, sweet is all cut out and has dimensional on the back. Let's add it centered between the two greetings that are already there and centered right to left. The dimensionals, it really just gives it a cool effect, doesn't it? Can adhere our die cuts, we're gonna put sweet on the outside and that pierced scallop rectangle on the inside. I love this new stylish shapes die set. This is the largest square and they're pierced, so they're perfect companion to the pierced scalloped rectangle that we're using from Scallop Contours. I love when a new product comes along and it just matches so perfectly with an old favorite and this is definitely the case. All right, wishing you a sweet day. We're going to set that down, but make sure we audition and have plenty of room for our cherries. We do get that. Now my cherries are going to have a two um, layer. It's going to have a flat glue on the one. And then the one that has the dimensional gets another dimensional. And I'm going to do just a little skinny strip on the stem too, just to give it a little support. I love these uh, mini dimensionals. They have a big wide edge, so you can pull off little tiny strips to support those small areas. All right, they're sticky. Let's go ahead and adhere. I love it. Two leaves. Let's put some dimensionals on them. Be careful, don't cover your greeting. So cute. There's the outside. We're going to come back with a little embellishment. Let's add our rectangle to the inside. And I couldn't resist. It's so easy with this punch bundle to decorate the inside and really dress it up too. Let's get that centered and straight. And then we're going to add our cherry. I want it to exceed the bounds of the rectangle a bit there at the bottom. And a little leaf. So cute. Isn't that adorable? Almost as cute inside as out. 
Now the last touch is these awesome in color. These are 2022, 2024 in color matte decorative dots. And we're gonna add them. We're gonna do three clusters of two. And I'm gonna go with the parakeet party one this time. I found that sometimes with these embellishments, the adhesive wants to stay on the sheet instead of on the dot. So what I do is I just wiggle it around a little bit and then side to side. And once you've done that, the adhesive kind of firms up to the back of the dot and comes away from the sheet. So if you're finding you're having that same problem, just kind of wiggle it back and forth and the adhesive tends to um, adhere better to the back of the gem and release from the sheet. And there is wishing you a sweet day. That's card number two in our three card series. If you've got any questions, you can email me, Marissa, at kitchentablestamper.com. The shop Stampin' Up 24 7 buzz over to Marissa Alvarez, that's stampin'up.net. And join us in the craft social. We'd love to see your fun with parts and pieces cards. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with video number three. Thanks for watching.